This first video clip will show students how to initially create a student account for themselves and then how to update their account and purchase tokens to take courses. Now remember, the first course is free. If you haven't already got a student account, it's fairly easy to create one. Go to the student login page and click this link here that says don't have a login yet. We're going to use our demo student throughout the course. You can see a gentleman named John Doe. And he even has an email. And we're going to give him a password for the course. You should select your own password and confirm it. And a secret answer. You can pick one of the secret questions for secret answers. Your favorite, your first pet's name. Fido the dog. And we simply click this to apply for login credentials. Uh, after you've signed up for Learn Ubuntu, you can check your mail. In this case, I'm going to check our student John's email. Here we have a message from Learn Ubuntu which tells him that he, that he created an account and it also shows what his password is. So now he's ready to log in to learn Ubuntu. After he creates the account you will also notice that it says it was created. So it was created plus he has a confirming email. So we can click the student login and use his login name and his password And now he's logged in and it comes to the student homeroom. Now the first thing that you should do is over here on the right it says edit my account. When you log in we only ask you for some basic information. In order for us to give you the proper service you should put in your address. and his postal code country and a contact phone number in case you ever want to get a hold of him you can also change his password here which we'll probably do just to be safe and if you want to change our password here we can change it and we click update user and now he has his new password all set and he should also be getting an email confirming that he changed his password anytime your account information is changed for security reasons you should get an email whether you change it or an administrator changes it for you here we just check his email we can see that it's been changed and the updated information is all displayed there for the user. Before you can sign up for classes, you will need to have a student token account and some tokens to work with. Except for the first class, which is free, but you have nothing to lose at this point. So you click Set Up Payments, and you see here it says you now you have a token account. Simply click the Add Token Account button. This hasn't cost you anything yet and now you have a token account associated with your student ID to purchase tokens you click the purchase token button and then here on this form you can see a list of the courses and how many tokens they take don't buy more tokens than you need they're only twenty five dollars US a piece very important to put your login email here so we know whose tokens these are for in this case, it's J Doe3938 at gmail.com. Select the number of tokens you want to purchase and click the Buy Now button. This will take you 
to the PayPal site where you can complete the transaction securely. I also want to point out if you have someone who wants to sponsor you, like a friend or a relative who wants to buy tokens for you, on the home page we have this link for sponsor a student. You can click that and they have a similar page where they pick how many tokens they want to buy for you and again very important they have to enter your email address and click the buy now button and again they will be taken to the secure PayPal site to purchase your tokens alrighty now I want to say one thing about the videos on this site they're mp4s and they play in a QuickTime player this site is best viewed using Linux Ubuntu and the Firefox browser which happens to use the Toto movie player plug and they work very well on that if you look down in the lower right hand corner you'll see a little arrow if you click that you can make it full screen so you can see the videos clearly that's why we made them this way so I hope this was helpful to you to get you started as a student on the Learn Ubuntu website. Move on to the next video in the series to learn how to sign up for courses.